What's happened is we discovered the second year we were here that we get turtles come on the beach and in that first year all the turtles and all the nests were either killed or dug up and so we decided because they were critically endangered sea turtles that what we would do is we'd protect them and I knew nothing about sea turtles when we came and effectively what then happened was we, we started experimenting, we started protecting them and as we've gone through the years we now get more and more coming up so as of today we've had 170 nests on this beach we've let go with the ones that we've let go today something like 6,200 but in the 19 years that we've been here we've let over 220,000 hawksbill hatchlings out so what happens is we've worked it that when we release the turtles we do it two hours before it gets dark and the reason being that it is the optimum time for most of them to survive by timing it as we do it also means that the mongoose the birds the crabs can see them so therefore we have visitors that come to watch which increases tourism the general reaction is always very very good to what we do and so consequently in a year we get between four and five thousand people come to watch the sea turtles go out and we work every day it doesn't matter whether it's the season or not we walk the beach every single day checking for nests mm -hmm. if we find tracks we monitor them we record them and we have pictures of every nest and false crawl going back to 2007 and it means that we can follow patterns in terms of when the turtles come back how many turtles how many eggs they lay and we've got a lot of basically very good information but our concern now is how do we make climate change an issue and we've got to build up the back of the beach because otherwise we've, by the end of the century the sea level will rise by about five feet and if we allow it to keep going turtles will have nowhere to lay and we're also looking at the fact that because of climate change you've got you haven't got enough males because the, the turtles are set by temperature mm -hmm. And so consequently we have a Boston University that we're working with and we're going to do data logging next season in the nest for temperature and humidity and we're going to build an incubator room and we think that we can save an extra 3,000 turtles a year but we can also drop the temperature down slightly and create more males. So that's part of our plan for the future.